everybody to subsistence i'm an old guy gaming and um <clears throat> we have uh, quite the storm going on these guys are really cranking and i think i'm gonna go ahead and bite the bullet and get these upgraded um well actually we're gonna it's gonna require a total of four circuit boards uh, that's gonna be the most expensive thing um let's make let's make our breaching charge first before we do that because that's more important at the moment uh, let's see, our liver and onions is done, so let's eat that. Man, we got a stamina increase, very nice. I've been out <clears throat> uh, actually all night last night and then for the morning uh, looting crates. It got pretty damn cold, but not so cold we couldn't handle it. I want to try and make some jam now too because we're starting to get rose hips, uh, rose hip berries. It is December. Oh, while we were out and about, we did also get this locked crate. Okay, um, our soup's done. Let's eat that. Oh, I guess we are not ready to eat that yet. Okay. Um, then we'll stick it in the fridge. Uh, okay, so let's see. What are we doing? We are... We're going to make a, a breaching charge. So to make that, we need one circuit board, one ingot, six gears, and gunpowder. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six gears. Um, let's grab this and this for circuit boards. And let's grab this and this for ingot. All right, so we're going to make one of those and one of those. And then we're going to need the gunpowder as well. So I'll grab a stack of gunpowder. We'll wait for those to finish. All right. In the meantime, let's see. Our onions are coming along, and we got tomatoes and potatoes growing in of this bin. So crops are doing good. And we are thirsty. We're going to have to do another water run here, it looks like. Let's grab some more iron out of you. Yeah, because I figure, you know, we're going to have a lot of these storms in, during the winter, so we might as well upgrade those windmills and get as much juice out of them as we can. But, here again, we want to get the breaching charge done first. Okay, let's make this. And uh, that used 800 power. Wow. Okay, we're still, we still have quite a bit of power, though. All right, now that that's done, um... Let's go back up and look again. I can't remember everything that we need. Okay, so four ingots, four circuit boards, and two ropes plus some sinew, and then the re and then scrap. Okay, four ingots, four circuit boards, two ropes, sinew, and scrap. Let's see if we can get that stuff done. Circuit boards are going to be the most expensive thing. Um, so, oh, I guess we already have the stuff for that. Okay, there's our breaching charge for when we go after Charlie. One, two, three, and four of those. And then we said we needed four ingots. One, two, three. Oh, we just ran out of mass. Okay, so we're going to have to wait for some mass to build back up to make that stuff. Very good. All right, let's put our breaching charge in here for now. Um, I'm going to want, I, I think, like I said, I think there's four internal rooms that have doors we got to blow down. So I'd like to go in there with eight grenades so we don't have to spend a lot of time uh, with picks, but we will take picks in there too. Um, but, you know, we, we have to get in and out, so to speak. And I don't, uh, you know, I want I want to be efficient. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so that means the more grenades we have, the less picking that we'll have to do at the doors. I could make more breaching charges too instead, but I'm, you know, I also want to be economical about this as well. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we're we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to wait for the mass to build back up before we proceed, but. Um, let's make a couple of ropes because we know we're going to need two of those 
and then we still have 16 sinew even after that we know we're going to need some scrap metal so we'll upgrade what we can maybe we can get one of them um, double upgraded I don't know it probably doesn't matter because I think it's 25% each time for both of them so whether we double upgrade one or upgrade both of them one level it's probably six one half dozen the other okay so let's go up and see what we can do okay so um oh we need mass as well okay <laughs> shit um okay well i think maybe what we'll do then is <clears throat> excuse me Let's see, we're probably not going to be able to make grenades because we'll probably need mass for that too, right? Yeah, so we've got the materials to make, we just don't have the mass. Well, since we're going to have to wait for that, um, what I'm going to do with these items that we've kind of pre-made is I'm going to put them in here so I don't accidentally maybe use them for something else I didn't mean to. Um, I think we only needed for sinew and I can't remember I think we needed I don't remember how much of this we needed so let's just split it in half and we'll keep 60 in there okay so put that stuff back in there back that back in there uh, what are we oh we wanted to try some jam okay let's try this out now, that doesn't require mass just power so we're gonna need a jam jar that also requires mass. For goodness sakes, man. Everything requires mass. How close are we to 25? 16. Let's just pop this on, because I, I just want to make one and check it out. You know what I mean? Let's pop that on for just a couple of moments, just enough to get that up to 25. Um, so we we're going to also need some water and some glass. I think it said six pieces, right? Yeah, six pieces of glass. So we just have to wait for the mass to get to 25. And then we'll make one of these. We'll try out some jam and see what that's all about. And then we'll probably, because we're not going to have enough mass to make everything we need uh, to do the raid. Plus, that's something I want to start in the morning anyways. We'll probably spend the rest of this episode just doing some, some looting. We haven't looted together on camera for a while. Not, not significantly. Okay, so let's see. We need two rose hips, two strawberries, and two blueberries. There we go. And then let's get the jar. That's kind of expensive, man. With the water and everything, this better be some damn good stuff. I'm just saying. Why don't we also... Um, can I eat this now? Yeah, to, just to get get it out of the way. Uh, let's go ahead and do our, a water run also. So we'll let that cook. How are you guys doing? Uh, you could be stand to be topped off. Well, we'll do that when we get back. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's go do a water run really quick. We were attacked once by Alpha up there. Not, nothing too terrible. It happened while we were gone, so we couldn't defend ourselves. So I just repaired it when he got back, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, that is a level one wolf. Let's kill him. Got to hit him if we want to kill him. Oh, shit. You know what, though? I don't have room for his stuff. All right, let's just leave him there. Hopefully he'll stay there long enough for us to come back for him. That's the thing that sucks about going to get water like this is I can't loot anything else because I'm completely fill, filled up. Any fishermen over there? Yeah, they shouldn't see us anyways if they are. Have to be really careful not to hit E twice on these or I'll drink it. And that's no bueno. So 
So yeah, hopefully this wolf will still be here. He should be. I would think that he would be here. When we get back. I don't know because we started butchering him if uh, it changes the timer on it or not. I would guess probably not, but don't know for sure. Start cooking up these waters, and let's go grab that wolf now so we get that done. Shouldn't have to re-butcher him, so that means, you know, we won't get bloody hands and all that. Yep, all good, man. Chicken, where's that chicken? Need feathers. Uh, I heard him... I saw him over here when we were here earlier. Oh, there's a loot crate. Oh, the chicken's right there. He's going right to the loot crate. Yeah, we need ammo, man, for our upcoming raid big time. So depending upon how, you know, the next few loot runs go that I that I need to do, hopefully we can do that raid pretty soon. Uh, I'm going to take the Magnum inside with me. Um, just because, you know, we have six, we can fire off six rapid shots if we need to. The shotgun's very powerful too, but you can only do two at a time unless, I guess if we took the pump, but the pump takes a long time per shot in comparison. So, yeah, let's uh, kill this guy and butcher. We'll put a stake on there. And then grab two of those, put three of those in and grab that and put the that stake on there. Um, actually, no, we should put this on too. Okay, put that in there. Feathers and casings go in there and then We'll get the water put in there. Okay, here is our jam. So, what is this? Holy shit! 70 fruits and vegetables? Okay, good. I mean, it needs to be for considering how expensive it is. Wow! Look at that, man. Now, theoretically, this should not spoil either because it's preserved, right? But, man, I don't know if I want to risk losing it even so. Uh, how about if we eat some soup, and we're going to keep that in there. Max health increase, nice. Okay. Well, uh, I completely concur with this giving us 70 fruits and vegetables only because it was very expensive to make. Um, and we get 10 max health, and or, or 0.10 max health and 0.12 stamina. Very cool. Okay, cool. We have made some jam, ladies and gentlemen. That's our jam. Let's eat you and pull you out. Uh, we might, it's getting dark, so maybe we'll, we might do a night raid, I don't know. The problem with that for the video, purpose of the video is it makes it harder for you guys to see, but I guess I could put the, um, the gamma up a little bit. I'm running low on furt. Only have one stack of that left. So we might, we might not keep fertilizing these. We might just wa keep them watered. Okay, so let's go ahead and top both of those off with one water. And we'll put these empties down here. We've got another... Uh, three more irons, so let's pop those in here. <coughs> I'm only running <coughs> one of those for now because I'm, I'm I'm trying to run everything off of one Jenny to conserve fuel. Uh, oh, let's turn that bastard off. Damn, we just about ran out of power. <laughs> I always forget that I, about that thing. I turn it on and then I forget that it's on and it runs our power out. Okay. Let's refill you, and you're still running. Okay, we're not running the front one for now. 
Okay, we should have enough mass now to start doing those upgrades. Grab those out, put that in. Okay, let's go up and get the first level of upgrade on the windmills. And I think that's going to really help a lot during the winter with all the snow storms and stuff that we have. Um, oh, now we're <laughs> now we're low on power. Son of a bitch. Okay. Nothing's ever easy, man. Okay. I have to wait for the power to build back up now. So let's just put this stuff back in here again for now. Okay. Um, can we eat this now? Nope, we're not quite ready to. Got another water in there and three more waters in here. Let's stick these in the water bin. And I think we have eight of those. So I'm going to want, you know, probably at least three guns worth of uh, magnums when we go in there. And we'll take the shotgun stuff too, of course. <clears throat> Basically I like to use the rifle for long distance. Shotgun, of course, for slow, uh, short distance, but the magnum is also good for short distance because of why I've stated earlier. You can just squeeze off six shots really quick if you need to. Um, all right, well, should we try and go do a bit of a night loot? Um, we got our coat. And we're in pretty good shape on food, water, all that kind of stuff. We have a couple heat packs. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's go ahead and... Do a night loot. Hopefully, well, mm, I don't know, man. With this storm, that might not work too well. It's already minus seven. We can only handle six, uh, seven and a half. The thing is, is what I try and do is get down into the valley because it's warmer down there. We're up kind of high where we are. Um. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's um. Let's just see if we can get to the valley before we really get bad on the cold. Um, well, I guess, here, let's just take one of these. Okay. That should keep us warm enough to get down into the valley. Uh, we want to avoid, not really, don't really want to hunt right now. I want to loot. So we're looking for cases. Oh, uh, leave me alone. We are being chased, but we're just going to keep running. Minus 14. Holy crap. That's cold. I should have one more lock pick on me in case we find another locked chest. So, yeah, like I said, I mean, once we drop down to the valley, then it warms up a few degrees. And hopefully the storm will also abate on top of that. Then we can go loot down here. Those heat packs, man. That's some good stuff. We're going to make more of those. Uh, that last locked crate that I got, I got, I don't know, like six or eight medicinal tonics. So it's a big score. Good stuff, man. All right, here's an ammo crate. Okay, no ammo, but we got some gunpowder. So see, now it's minus seven, and it'll get even a little warmer as we continue to descend here. Or it should, anyway. Minus five. Okay, so we're good. Even once the heat packs wears off, wears off, as long as it doesn't, you know, as long as we don't get a huge gnarly storm come in, we should be fine. Okay, where are the crates? Give us those crates, man. 
That's an um, elk, or not an elk, a moose. Level one wolf. Yeah, we could kill it. It's level one. We're right uh, ne near the pond here. Let's put that there and this here. Pretty soon the ponds are going to freeze up. They might already have done so. Maybe not yet, though. Nope, not quite. Okay, we're not going swimming, that's for sure. <laughs> Ain't going to happen, man. But as you can see, it's a nice balmy minus four out here, uh, which is well within the tolerance of our outfit to handle. We should be good. We just need crates. Uh, there's a pig. I probably, yeah, I'd probably need to shotgun him. I don't think I'm going to bother with him right now. I've already mentioned this to you guys, but pigs are a little bit disappointing. <clears throat> you only get one pork chop off of them, and sometimes not a whole lot else, you know. Considering how dangerous they are. But that's the way it goes. That's just the way the game was developed. Okay. Oh, do we have, we have two pigs? Wow, I don't think I've ever seen two pigs at the same time. That's unusual. Where in the hell are all the crates? I don't want to really start going up too high. There's a white wolf. Let's avoid them. They're a pain in the ass. They're really tough. They don't give you really anything more than the normal wolves. They're hard to see, and I don't like them. So there you go. Now you know how I really feel. <laughs> Another pig! What the hell, man? What's up with all the pigs? If I had shotgun shells to spare, I'd start shooting them, but... We gotta... We gotta save for our raid, man. This just seems like it's maybe not gonna turn out to be a good crate day. Sometimes... Ah, oh, shit. Sometimes that happens. Uh, there's some rose hips. Wow, that jam. 70 fruits and vegetables. That is so good. That is so good. There's a crate, finally. Right next to a moose, which we don't care about because the moose will run off. We already killed our moose. All right. Not... Anything too phantasmagorical, but we'll take it. Nah, stay away from the White Wolf. Stay away from the Geralt of Rivia. He dangerous, man. Yeah, let's run over this way. We'll kind of go a bit to the east and see uh, if... Okay, there's some ore up there. I'm not sure if I can get up there, though, actually. So let's not worry about that. There's chicken. Let's kill the chicken for the feathers. You know, if I had some honey, I'd be killing these pigs so we can make that delicious looking pork feast, but guess what I don't have? Honey. <laughs> So we're not going to be doing that right now. There's a couple ore nodes up there. Question is, how do we get up there? Is there a way to get up here on this side? Yeah, yeah, maybe over here. Carrots? In the winter time? Okay. Get up, 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 there we go. Nice, some zinc and iron. I'll take both of those things. Again? It was just under attack. What the hell, man? I haven't... P 
pissed off the hunters in a long time. Unless Charlie's pissed because I built that bunker right next to him. I suppose that's possible. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know why they're so aggressive right now. It's all right. It's all good, man. It's all good. There are times are coming. You know, we can make the lathe too. It's very expensive. But one of the things you can make in the lathe is uh, a base BCU destroyer thingamadoodle, which actually destroys their base. And I presume when that happens, especially like in the case of Charlie, they would have to completely rebuild all over again from the start. So we'll have to mess around with that at some point, but... I don't want to expend the resources or spend the resources at this point to do that because it's just so expensive, but it'll be on the to-do list. The other thing we haven't done yet is we haven't, we haven't done anything with animal husbandry and I'd like to, I'd like to give it a try just, just for the hell of it. Even if it's maybe not that great. I don't know. We would need a deer right now. Nah, let's not get the deer because then my hands will get all yucko. I'd want to get crates. We're all about the crates, man. We are all about the crates right now. One feather? Seriously? What the hell? <laughs> all right, let's move our, this way. We want to be careful not to get too close to Alpha. And there was... Um, there was a, a rogue camp kind of over this way, too. So, But that... that they might not be around anymore, so let's go up to the arch, which should be right up around this way, and see if we can find a lock crate up here. It's minus seven, but we are kind of high, and it is kind of stormy too. All right, let's get down a little bit lower here because we're getting chilly. Another rose hip. Um, level one. Yeah, what the hell? We'll kill him more, more because he's level one A and B. He's in our way. Nice little stroll in the winter time, man. Two rose hips. Beautiful. Bunch of those things give some serious vitamin C. We'll eat that stuff so we don't get scurvy. There's a chicken. Getting those feathers, man. Okay, where in the hell are we at? Let's go. That might be alpha over there, but I'm not sure. We're going to have to go up high again. Okay, there's a crate. And it's an ammo crate. Okay, come on, man. Give us some magnums. That is not magnums. It's not what we asked for, game. All right, there was a wolf over here. Uh, level one. Let's kill him. Plus, there's a crate over there. We're going to have to think about washing our hands here pretty soon. Looks like another ammo crate. All right. Magnum rounds, please. Well, shotgun shells are good. We'll take those two. Okay, we got it. We got to get down, man. It is cold. Let's get down a little bit lower. We are storm looting, baby. Yes, indeed, we are. It is very a very cool thing to do. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. Okay, another ammo crate. 
we're still uh, taking some cold damage. We might have to take our heat pack. Cotton seeds, beautiful. We'll take them. We actually have a pretty decent supply of cotton. You know, once you make those initial items, the armor and whatnot, and the coat, you know, then you don't need a ton of cotton after that. You just kind of need it for repairs. Alright, let's go over here. I'm going to go ahead and take this now, and let's eat this. And let's eat some blueberries to get some carbs and proteins and stuff going on. Um... Okay, we're not in terrible condition, but we need to start thinking about heading back. And yet another pig. I don't remember seeing this many pigs out last winter. Is that is it just a fluke, or did they come out more in the winter? I'm not sure. Um, I have a feeling like we're probably closer to Alpha than we should be. Let me look on the map. There's a crate over there. Yeah, he's probably very close to where we are. I want to get this crate, though. We need to we need to get back home, man. Because once this heat pack wears off, uh, yeah, it's gonna be really cold, really cold, really cold. Let's go south a bit, and then we'll cross over towards the house. Take this zinc. an ammo crate. Magnums, please. Okay, shotgun shells are good too. And we already had this conversation. Alright, let me look at the map again here. So Bravo's right here. Yeah, it almost looks like we're heading almost directly for Charlie or Alpha I mean I just can't see very well all right let's kind of stay let's go further south before we start heading uh, west Okay, I think we can probably cut across this way. Our heat pack just wore off. Okay, there's... Actually, there's Bravo over there. So, if we kind of come up around here, we should be fine. Alright, level one wolf. I love level one wolves, because they're easy and cheap to kill. They're cheap and easy, man. How many arrows do I have? Oh, that was it. We're out of arrows. Okay, we're going to have to do something about that, too. Let's keep this handy in case we run into something big and mean and nasty right in our path. Oh, there's a crate down there. Magnum rounds? Nope, well, we got some arrows back. Uh, okay, we got a level, another level one. But we only have one arrow. But there's too many crates around here not to do our thing. So we'll pop him twice with this. Oh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, looks like the storm is abating somewhat. 
All right, let's grab these crates and see if we can go do a wash down in the pond before I get infected here. Oh, nice. Locked crate. Never mind. I didn't say anything. It's not a locked crate. It kind of looked like it at first from the angle that I saw it. But I didn't say locked crate. You guys just thought you heard me say locked crate, but I really didn't. Yes, indeed. Okay. I don't really want to go any further that way or we're going to run into Bravo. But I thought I saw another crate over here. Did I? Hmm. Maybe not. Okay, let's grab this zinc. Potatoes? Potatoes in the winter. Make sure our buddies aren't over here derping out. There's a deer in our yard. All right. Not the best shot in the world. Oh, look at what they did. Those son of us. Where'd the deer go? Wow, that's some serious breach. Breach action there. Oh, there's the deer. We need to wait for it to calm down. So that means we shoot it with a 9mm because that's what's going to calm it down. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, we're going we're gonna to have to start thinking about some steel plating here. We either got hit by breaching charges there or, we, you know, we got a double attack and Charlie attacked there and then Brava attacked or vice versa. I don't know. Okay, let's wash our hands. Put the liver in there. Our fires went out, which sucks. So let's grab two of those. And we'll get this one going. And put some steaks on it. And a chicken, too. Okay, you can go in there, and you can go in there, and you can go in there, and you can go in there. And the potato, oh, and the apple, too. Okay. Let's split this in half. Put half in there, half in there. We need to make a another fire starter. So, first got to make a stick. And then we can make the starter. All right, while we're waiting for that, let's put that away, that away. We have a full pile of things there now. Uh, so let's turn those into fuel logs. And then we'll put those steaks on there to cook. Uh, let's eat that and put another steak there potato seeds can go down here cotton seeds can go there we're gonna put those in the crop plots um, that can go there yeah we're gonna to have to build some new walls and like I said we need to start thinking about <clears throat> plating those walls here pretty soon that going. Uh, antlers go in here. Feathers go in here. And then we have two more chickens. Feathers can go in there. Let's grab these steaks out of here. And eat two of them. We're kind of low on protein at the moment. Should make some liver and onions. Uh, 
Why did that turn off? Oh, because it ran out of fuel. Okay. Let's turn this one on and keep that going. Okay. So we're still making uh, the fuel logs there. Oh, we got we got 10 of those. Okay, that's even better. Even better, man. All right. Well, guys, I think it's time to wrap up this episode. <coughs> I'm going to rebuild my walls uh, and replace them. And so I think we need... Here, let's go look at that. I think we need one window and... Yeah. Uh, one window and two walls. So two walls and a window. So we'll get that replaced and get everything repaired. And then I'm just going to keep, you know, eluding off camera until I get enough resources to have eight grenades and, you know, a few more magnum rounds and stuff. And then when that happens, we will be ready to raid Charlie. So I might not bring you back until uh, that time. We'll see how things go, though. And yeah, so guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.